Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, March 16th, 2021. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode 360. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, we have a bunch of drama raps with Yang Zi, Liu Luo, Zhao Wei, etc. And we take a look at the two actors who were originally supposed to star in Word of Honor. But first, here's what's recently premiered. Mom's Waiting For You is a retro drama starring Zhang Yan and Song Jialun, and it premiered yesterday, March 15th. It follows a mother and her five children as they face life's challenges starting in the 1980s to the 2000s. With a title like that, it's surely a tearjerker. If you want to check it out, it's available on YouTube with English subs. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, I just want to quickly address the Immortality premiere rumor. Immortality is an upcoming costume drama starring Arthur Chen and Liu Luo, and it's based on the novel The Husky and His White Cat, Shizun. In my last video's comment section, a few of you asked if it was true that the drama would air on April 8th. I checked their Weibo page for an official confirmation, but could not find one. Their last post was back in December 26, 2020, when they wished Liu Luo a happy 10th debut anniversary. So I would say that as of today, the April 8th premiere is just a rumor. But seeing as how highly anticipated the drama is, I'm certainly keeping my eye on it and will update as soon as I hear something. Okay, moving on, here now are a bunch of dramas that have recently wrapped filming, beginning with The Psychologist. The Psychologist is an upcoming modern drama starring Yang Zi and Jin Boran, and they wrapped filming on March 10th. Yang Zi plays the titular psychologist in this drama that follows the ups and downs of her career and personal life, from success to tragedy to happiness. She has her own radio show which is co-hosted by Jing Boran's character, who also becomes her love interest. Yang Zi had a terrific 2019. Go Go Squid came out in the summer and was a big hit. She followed that up with My Mowgli Boy and also had a couple of movies premiere that year. Since then, it's been rather quiet for her. She hasn't started any dramas, but has kept in the limelight with award shows, variety shows, etc. But I anticipate she'll be the talk of the town again real soon. She has two highly anticipated dramas coming up. The Golden Hairpin, in which she stars with Chris Wu, and The Oath of Love, in which she stars with Xiao Zhan. I will update on both as soon as there's news of a premiere. Next up is Lie to Love. Lie to Love is an upcoming modern drama starring Liu Luo and Cheng Xiao, and they wrapped filming on March 10th as well. They look a cute couple in this wrapped photo. Looks like they have very similar smiles. In the drama, Liu Luo plays an ex-CEO who's now a shadow of his former confident self and suffers from depression. Cheng Xiao plays the ex-sweetheart who's back with bad intentions. She suspects that Liu Luo's character may have had something to do with her father's bankruptcy, and to find out the truth, she pretends to have amnesia. Liu Luo came off the successful run of Love is Sweet with Bai Lu, I'm sure you guys remember that one. And considering the synopsis for Lie to Love, they could have made it the unrelated sequel and called it Love is Bitter. Cheng Xiao is from the music world, but her acting career is really taking off. After starring in Legend of Awakening with Arthur Chen, she did Falling Into Your Smile with Xu Kai, and now she's done this. Hopefully, they'll release a trailer soon. I'll update you guys when they do. Next up, My Deepest Dream. My Deepest Dream is an upcoming modern drama starring Li Yitong and Jing Han, and they wrapped filming on February 28th. The drama follows the romance between a mystery novelist played by Li Yitong and a math prodigy turned mechanic played by Jing Han. Now from my understanding, the story is actually quite a bit more complicated than that. The two lead characters meet and fall in love on a cruise ship, but something happens and they end up losing their memories. 
They go their separate ways and meet again later and they both try to figure out what happened exactly on that ship. On top of that, they can somehow time travel, but only once a month. As you can probably tell, I haven't read the novel, so it's all clear as mud to me as well. Lee Yi-tong's last drama to air is DT Apple Dog's Time, in which she starred with Hui Ken that has done well on viewing charts. Jing Han's last drama to air is Twisted Fate of Love, in which he starred with Sun Yi. And the last drama I want to mention is the family drama As Long As We Are Together, which features two critically acclaimed actors. As Long As We Are Together is an upcoming modern drama starring Zhao Wei and Qing Hao, and they wrapped filming on March 3rd. The drama follows a couple who are determined to buy a new house so their son can attend a first-class elementary school. However, their opposing mindsets and differing opinions cause a series of conflicts. She is more relaxed, he is the strict disciplinarian. It's been many years since Zhao Wei has done a drama. Her last one was back in 2015, in which, ironically, she played the titular Tiger Mom. Zhao Wei burst onto the scene back in 1998 when she starred in the classic drama My Fair Princess. She then went on to star as Amui in Stephen Chow's Shaolin Soccer in 2001, and the rest is history. Ching Hao, on the other hand, really made his presence felt in Chinese drama land last year. He starred in the highly rated and critically acclaimed The Bad Kids. He also starred in the costume drama Song of Glory with Li Qing. So four modern dramas wrapping up filming and moving on to post-production. I will continue to bring updates on them as they provide them. And moving on, here are the two actors who were originally cast to play the two leads in Word of Honor. So I came across an article on Senna Entertainment yesterday. I found it interesting, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Word of Honor premiered on February 22nd and turned out to be a major hit. It currently has an 8.6 rating out of over a quarter million ratings on Douban, which is very impressive. I'm sure many of you can't imagine any other actors playing the main characters other than the two who were ultimately cast, Zhang Zihan and Simon Gong. But here are two actors who were earmarked to play the parts, but for some reason or another, passed it up. According to the article, Mao Zijun was supposed to play Zhang Zihan's character, Zhou Zishu. Mao Zijun stars in the currently airing Killer and Healer. Prior to that, he starred in 2019's The Legend of Haolan with Wu Jingyan. Apparently, filming for Word of Honor was delayed because of the pandemic last year. Because of that, Mao Zijun decided to film other projects first, but when Word of Honor finally came around, he was no longer available. And Li Daikun was supposed to play Simon Gong's character, Wen Kexing. Li Daikun apparently felt the character of Wen Kexing did not fit his image, so he relinquished it to play Prince Xie, the head of the Scorpion sect, instead. Of course, if Mao Zedun and Li Daikun had played the two main characters, they would have brought something completely different to it, and the drama would not have been the same. It might not have been as popular, or it might have been even more popular. We'll never know. Personally though, if I was earmarked to play one of those two lead characters and I passed it up to do something else, I would be kicking myself and my manager for not stopping me. But that's just me. And on that note, it's Tuesday today, so it's time for another segment of Where's Marcus At? So many of you know that I'm in Vancouver, Canada, but that's not what the title's referring to. It's referring to what episodes I'm at in the dramas I'm following. So I'm currently following three dramas. I'm on episode 13 of Storm Eye with Yang Mi and Vin Zhang. It's developing slowly but surely, and I'm enjoying the ride. There's no overdubbing, which is a huge plus. Always nice to be able to hear the actors' own voices. I'm watching the drama on YouTube, where it's available with English subs. I'm on episode 13 of Word of Honor with Chang Zhehan and Simon Gong. Episode 13 was a really good episode with the introduction of a new character who's a skillful fighter. And the episode ended on such a cliffhanger moment as well. Can't wait to watch what happens next. I'm watching the drama on YouTube where it's available with English subs. 
And lastly, I'm on episode 18 of The Sword and the Brocade with Wallace Chung and Seven Tan. These days, we pop the drama on at the same time as dinner, which really works out because they're always serving delicious licking dishes on that show too. I'm watching the drama on WeTV where it's available with English subs. And that's been another segment of Where's Marcus At? And that brings this episode to a close. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. And if you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps and shoutouts. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.